My advice would be one, just to give it a go, it's at the, the worst they can do is say no and the best that can happen is a huge amount of experiences and learning and just a lot is laid on for you. They treat you so well, they take care of everything. And my other piece of advice would be to really sell yourself not just on one aspect but on every aspect you think that makes you valuable as a person and as an employee. I really sold the fact that although I academically I feel I'm, I'm fine, I like my academics but I also have done stuff, hobbies and charity work and things like that which I didn't think were very impressive or important but that Saltire really picked up on and thought added a lot to my personal value and that also made me value those things more as well. Um, definitely apply, um, nothing to lose. It's not a very long application and I think the really like the, the core of the application is just trying to get to know you and if you're the kind of person that can really grasp this opportunity. Um, so you know don't be worried about like if you have the right attributes you know just go for it. Um, you know, see your careers advisor, chat to your brand ambassadors, get the advice you need and apply. So the main thing for me is to give the application the time and consideration that it deserves. Um, while it seems like, you know, you could maybe do it and bash it out in a week, don't do that. Prepare for it as soon as it comes out. You've got about a month to do it. Really take that month because your effort and um, preparation for the application is telling and it carries through all the way through the application process right to the host company. I think as well, um, there's no such thing as over-preparing. So if you get through and you get the speed interview, really take the time, think about all your experiences that you've done in your life and draw from them as potential answers to questions. And then from there on, over-prepare is better than not preparing at all for a host company company interview and from that aspect if this is something that you really want to do I would start financially preparing for it just now because this is a once in a lifetime opportunity that you're afforded by the Saltire programs it should really be treated as such so save some money just now in case you actually are successful and you want to travel after your experience is finished. Um, I would 100% go for it um, I think I nearly didn't because I didn't think I was good enough or smart enough um, so yeah it's not about grades. Um, I also um, would encourage you to go to your careers department. Um, they helped me so much looking over my covering letters. Um, they really supported me. They gave me mock interviews um, and gave me so much feedback. Um, and it was so helpful. Um, even yeah, even if I hadn't have got it, to have that kind of like insider's perspective and kind of interview guidance. Um, yeah, it was a really good experience. Um, just the whole process of applying. I, at every single stage, I was speaking to my careers advisor, so she helped me with the application, she helped me with the interviews, and she helped me with the CVs for the host companies that I was applying for. And my career service helped me by looking over my CV to making sure that I was up to standard for a company like PBH who had kind of quite exacting standards when they were looking for candidates and made sure that uh, my CV was up to scratch. Uh, my careers uh, service were really good, they took a lot of time with me, they helped me prepare for interviews, um, they gave me pointers and questions that Saltire might typically ask, which is a big help in terms of being prepared. Um, they made sure that my posture was right, that I was giving clear answers, they helped me a lot with my communication and my CVs, so that was uh, a big help and definitely worth it.